Hey guys, how you doing? This is Paul from Paul and Tech, and welcome to part two of the first time PC build. In part two, I'll talk about all the parts in the build and why I chose each one of these parts. And I wanted to make this video a long time ago, like a week ago actually, but I had some problems with the computer. As you can tell, it's already set up behind me, but I couldn't get the editing software to work. So I just decided I'm going to make this video and I'm going to edit it on my old computer. And it won't be as fast, but I just have to get the videos out there somehow. So let's get started. Alright, so unlike a lot of PC builds, this build will cover absolutely everything you need to get your computer up and running. It includes the monitor, the keyboard and mouse, it even has speakers, uh, operating system and of course the build itself. So let's get started. With this build I'm aiming for a sort of half gaming, half schoolwork related build like I mentioned in the first video if you watched that because I want it to last me all through high school and I also want to do quite a bit of gaming on it. So you'll see a pretty balanced computer overall as far as parts go. I bought all my parts from either Newegg or Amazon and I have a little cheat sheet here saying all the parts and the price. And one thing that was really nice about Newegg is that you don't have to pay tax, so that was really nice. And something nice about Amazon is that you get, or I get, uh, Amazon Prime shipping. So it was really nice to have the parts come in in just two days. So from Newegg we got the CPU. I got the Intel Core i5-4690 and it was $224.99 and no tax like I said before. So the reason I chose this uh, CPU is I wanted an i5 because I wanted a mid-range level CPU and a 4690 is one of the newest uh, Haswell processors so I wanted something new and fast. This is a quad core, I think it's 3.5 gigahertz, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But yeah, I think it's 3.5, so it'll be plenty fast enough for my needs. For the graphics card, I went with the EVGA GeForce GTX 760 2GB video card, and it was $229.99, no tax, from Newegg, but one of the Great things about this is that it came with a free download of Watch Dogs. I'm sure lots of you guys have heard of that game. It's brand new from Ubisoft. Ubisoft, don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, so it was really nice that it came with that. And also I've heard great things about this card. It's again, sort of mid-range card, I guess. Might be a little pricey. It was the most expensive part out of the whole build. Like I mentioned, $230 but I wanted something powerful enough to run most modern games and I think this will suffice. For RAM or memory, I got 8GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR3 RAM. Uh, it came with two sticks of 4GB and not too much to say about this. I think 8GB is enough for gaming and if I need more in the future, my motherboard has four slots of RAM so that will only take up two. I can add another 8 gigabytes in the future if I want to. And that RAM is $76.99. For my hard drive, I got a Seagate Barracuda 1TB hard drive. It was $54.99. Again, not too much to say about this. Uh, I just wanted enough space to hold pretty much everything I'll need. And I think 1TB will be plenty and I can definitely upgrade that in the future if I need to. From my case, I will be getting the NZXT Source 210. It comes with one case fan. Again, not too much to say about this. It's just a mid-range price case. And it was $29.99 after a $10 rebate, so not too pricey at all. And it holds everything I need just fine. To connect to Wi-Fi, I got a Netgear N900 USB dongle I guess you can say and it was refurbished for only $19.99 plus $2 shipping so that was a great price I think new it was around $60 so I would highly recommend buying the refurbished version if you come across this item. For my monitor that you can see behind me I got the Asus 
VS2 47HP 23.6 inch. I got it for $119.99 and that was after a $20 rebate and I also got it for uh, $20 off. So that was definitely a great deal. I'm very happy with it so far and I saved about 40 bucks so no complaints there. For my power supply I got the EVGA 500 watt 80 plus bronze certified um, and that was only $29.99 after a $10 rebate so not too expensive. I was going to go with a modular power supply but I figured I'm pretty good at cleaning things up so I think I might be pretty good at wire management and so I went with the non-modular one because it was much cheaper of course. That is everything from Newegg and it totals up to $788.91 and that none of that was tax and almost everything was free shipping so I highly recommend buying parts from Newegg if you're looking into building a PC. From Amazon I got my motherboard which was an MSI B85 G41 LGA1150 to fit my CPU and that was, I think I got it $20 off and it was $59.99 so that was a great deal. It comes with four slots of RAM, fits my CPU and it pretty much does everything I needed to do. I also got an SSD from Amazon. I got a PNY 120GB SSD for $59 flat, not $0.99, cents, kinda weird, but I thought about getting the Samsung SSD and it was about $20 more and I figured I don't need the highest end SSD available. Uh, I think the PMY model will do just as good. Let me rephrase that, maybe not as good, but it'll be good enough for me at least. I also got a disk drive and I got an ASUS 24X DVD optical drive for $21.80 and that, not too much to explain about that, uh, it's just disk drive to install Windows and other programs that require disks to install. The speakers you might see behind me, they're the Logitech Z200s, they're $32.35. Again, I heard good reviews about these, so I figured I might as well buy them. They weren't too expensive. Now this is where it gets interesting. You might be thinking uh, that I would be getting a gaming mouse and gaming uh, keyboard. As, like I said earlier, this is 50% uh, gaming PC. However, I figured I would prefer using an Xbox One controller because I'm already used to the controller on the Xbox One and I think it would be easier to transition into PC gaming if I just used a console controller. So I didn't get a gaming keyboard or mouse. For my mouse I got Amazon Basics wireless USB mouse. You can subscribe because uh, I'm going to be doing a review on that in the near future and that was $11.49. For my keyboard, I got the Logitech K360 wireless keyboard. Again, I might do a review on that. It was $20.99, just a simple keyboard. I like that it came with the number pad on the right side though. So that was a good pro, I guess you could say, about that purchase. For my operating system, I got Windows 8.1, which was around $100 on Amazon. Not too much to say about that either. So everything from Amazon totals up to $313.99 and then with tax it totals to $332.73. That means everything all together from Amazon and Newegg totals to $1,121.64. You know, when you're watching videos like I did about building gaming computers, they don't l sound like they'd be that expensive, but all the little things really add up in the end. You know, you have to have a keyboard and mouse, uh, I have the monitor, and then there's little things that you don't normally think about like the disk drive, Windows 8, the Wi-Fi dongle adapter, and the case and all the parts really add up so my build was a little bit more than I expected it to be 
but that's okay. Uh, I'm really satisfied with it so far. Please subscribe so you can look forward to part three where I actually assembled the computer. I've already filmed it all. I had a couple hiccups when I was starting it up, but of course it ended up working in the long run. So you can definitely look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click that subscribe button for more content coming from me in the near future. Thanks.